is very, very funny because I know I had some honey because I had a label that saying honey. I'm going to fill a pot to it and I don't know where it's got to. No, I don't know where it's got to. Well, it's funny. It's very, very funny because I know I had some honey because I had a label that saying honey. I'm going to fill a pot to it and I don't know where it's got to. No, I don't know where it's gone to. Well, it's funny. It's very, very funny because I know I had some honey. Because I had a label lot saying honey. I'm going to look just for the pot to win. I don't know where it's got to. No, I don't know where it's got to. Well, it's funny. He murmured this to himself three times in a singing sort of way. We suddenly remembered he had left it into the cutting trap to catch the half lung. It all comes, said Pooh, to trying to be kind to Hathlum. He got into bed, but he couldn't sleep. The more he tried to sleep, the more he couldn't. He tried calling sheep, which was sometimes a good way of getting to sleep. And since that was no good, he tried counting Hathlums, which was worse. Because every Hathlum he counted was going straight for a pot of Pooh's honey and eating it all. For some minutes, he laid there miserably, but when the 587th heffalum was licking its jaws and saying to itself, very good honeyness, I don't know when I've tasted better, Pooh could bear up no longer. He jumped out of bed, he ran out of the house, and he ran straight to the sixth pine tree. The sun was still in bed, but there was a lightness over the hundred-acre wood, which seemed to show that it was waking up and would soon be kicking off the cloak. In the half-light, the pine trees looked cold and lonely. The very deep pit seemed deeper than it was. Pooh's pot of honey at the bottom was something mysterious. A shape, and no more, but his nose held him that it was indeed honey. His tongue came out and began to polish up his mouth ready for it. Bother, he said as he got a he- his head into the jar. A heffalump has been eating it. Then he thought a little and said, oh no, I did. Indeed, he did eat most of it. By and by, Piglet woke up. As soon as he woke, he said bravely, oh, and then more bravely, yes. That's still more bravery, quite so. But he didn't feel very brave because the word that was really chickening about with his brain was half a lump. What was a half a lump like? Was it fierce? Was it fond of pigs at all? That's the whole of it. All of it. <laughs> That's all of it. But it was not only the murmur. It was some of the other stuff too. After the murmur. So that's the end of this slide.